Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where it's all about connections, connections with our city, state, and country, connections with the news, connections with events, with what's going on in our lives, connections with what intrigues you about living in Mexico, living in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. Today is Thursday, June 20th. And I forgot to breathe. <laughs> it is Thursday. The week is almost over. The weather is lovely. Uh, summer solstice is around the corner. Thank you very much for that reminder, Kathy. Actually, summer solstice is today. If I recall, we announced that a couple of days ago. And it's a great day to be here. I am looking forward to this afternoon. And so is Betsy. We have music appreciation and uh, the opportunity to chill for an hour and a half and just immerse ourselves in beautiful music. What a great way to spend the afternoon, at least for some of us. If you've never tried it, come check it out. Come check it out. Uh, today, we have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I will start by saying something that I didn't prepare a screen for. First, they announced the visit of the tall ship, and then they announced that the tickets had run out. And now I'm reading in a couple of places that they might let you on board. After all, if you're willing to wait in line, the specifics are a little bit sketchy. So, you know, we know for a fact that if you want to get on board, the, if you want to enter the maritime terminal, they will allow you to do that. So if you had any interest in doing this, just head over to the Maritime Terminal and you might be pleasantly surprised at being able to board the vessel after all, even when they said that the tickets had run out. And that is a little bit of something. I am about to sneeze. Ah. Oh, that was better than sex. Oh my goodness, I needed a sneeze this morning. And with that said, let us take a look at what we have in the news. On the news, I don't know if it's in the news or on the news, but it is called Albert. Alberto, the tropical storm, touched land in northeast Mexico, causing flooding in many areas and unfortunately taking the lives of three miners in the state of Nuevo León. The storm is heading north. And even though this is happening in the opposite side of the country, it is expected that its remnants will result in heavy rain today throughout the state of Jalisco and including Puerto Vallarta. So if you're going to be out and about, do consider uh, bringing, you know, protection, an umbrella, maybe your your chanclas, your rubber um, your rubber boots or your rubber, uh, what do you call them, slippers, so that if you're walking out and about, your good shoes don't get messed up by the rain. And with all this heat and humidity, 
uh, this has to be the worst time of the year to run out of precious electricity that powers our fans and air conditioning and keeps our food fresh, fresh in the fridge. Food fresh in the fridge, that's a tongue twister. And while the following situation can happen to the best of us, nobody expected that the city of Puerto Vallarta would forget to pay for their electricity bill. It happened at the building known as the UMA building, uh, where workers seemed a little bit annoyed yesterday when they were getting ready to work. And all of a sudden, boom, the electricity was shut down. And internal sources, uh, anonymous sources, declared that um, it happened because they forgot to pay for their bill. So hopefully this will not happen again. Uh, we shall now take a quick look at the weather forecast just to see what's going on out there. Uh, snarky weather says, oh, it changed. Oh, no, where is it? The weather is nothing special just like you. That's not a kind statement, but that's not the way I feel. That's the way snarky weather feels. It is 28 degrees right now. We have 75% humidity, so it's going to be schwitzy out there. Uh, for today, Thursday, we can expect over, overcast skies in the morning with rain in the afternoon, a chance of rain of 87%, so definitely carry an umbrella with you if you're out and about here in Puerto Vallarta. We are looking at a high temperature of 28 and a low temperature of 21. Then tomorrow, we can expect rain in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon, um, a 72% chance of rain, a high of 29 and a low of 22. And finally, Saturday, overcast skies in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon, a high of 29 and a low of 22. Yay! It's humid out there. It's hot. We have um, a little bit of rain and that is good. Hopefully it will continue to rain as we move forward. And I want to let you know that yesterday we had a wonderful connection with two friends of the spotlight. One of them was Zizi Fjordan. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name properly, who uh, told us about a women's networking event that took place yesterday afternoon at Mariel's uh, bookstore. And it was great to connect with her and learn about the activities that she is doing. Um, I love anyone that is spending time and energy to nurture community. And we had interesting conversations about what it's like for women to live in Puerto Vallarta, which touched base on the fact that there are a number of single women living in the city and what that feels like when compared to other cities. And then of course, we also connected with a one of a kind AJ Freeman who was there uh, to promote a, a video game night that is going to take place tomorrow evening. This is an event that will happen at this place called the Players PV in Cinco de Diciembre, which is a combination bar slash video game place where like-minded individuals connect. So if you are in town and would like to check out this event tomorrow, that is the place to be. And again, I was so very happy to welcome both AJ and Zizi back to the spotlight because they are consummate promoters of different events. And of course, we will be back with the spotlight uh, on Wednesday. Yes, on Wednesday. And I have, where is what I put together for you? Oh my goodness, did I forget to load it? Hold on just a second. I know, here it is. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay, so before I show you what happens next, let me tell you that um, I knew that when uh, Zizi and AJ were uh, joining the spotlight, they were doing it at this bookstore, which is just down the street from my place at Plaza Parota. And I had been meaning to, to check out the space because, well, because it's there and it's on my way to supermarket 
whenever I go to La Comer, and for one reason or another, I had not gone up to check it out. And yesterday, I figured today is the day in which I'm going to stop by because I have to go to La Comer. I said to them, I'm going to have to go to La Comer. I will stop by on the way to check out the space. And I did. Uh, the bookstore is located on the second story of um, Plaza Parota. Uh, you might be able to see, like, well, not really because the camera went too fast, but this is almost kitty corner from, uh, from La Comer. And it's nice to see the inside of the bookstore, uh, which is larger than you think. And it has all kinds of nooks and crannies where you can browse books and you can chill and enjoy yourself as you're hanging out. And also, it was nice to see that the vast majority of commercial spaces on Plaza Parota are now being occupied. So there are all kinds of things to check out there. It is in Plaza Parota where our friend Michal goes for um, Pilates on a regular basis. And it is in, um, in Plaza Parota where Satisana is located. And we met the two owners of this a traditional Chinese clinic, Chinese medicine, uh, in a, a couple of spotlights ago. So if you want to check out this space, again, it is at Plaza Parota. There's a lot of stuff going on at the plaza. So if you're headed to La Comer and you're walking or you're driving there, it wouldn't hurt just to stop and check out what is now avail available at this little shopping center. And with that said, let us take a quick look at your comments, thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. I'm looking for cues, and I'm seeing all these wonderful good mornings. Thank you so very much. And, uh, oh, thank you so very much, Sherry. Uh, Again, it's it's I love connecting with people through the spotlight because it gives me a chance to ask all kinds of wonderful questions. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Where's Dora? You know, I was about to start Dora, uh, but then I figured, well, maybe maybe it's too much. I don't know. Do you love Dora? Do you hate Dora? Do you want to see more Dora? I'm happy to put Dora to work. Uh, oh, what a great suggestion, Chris, and I'm happy to comply. Chris says, summer solstice should be celebrated with the farting iguana. Where is she? And here she is. <laughs> There you have it. The farting iguana. We love the farting iguana. Uh, I've discovered other critters from YouTube and I'm in the process of putting together little short snippets like that. Um, doom, da doom, doom, doom. Good morning from the marina. I love this. Thank you very much. And Karen loves Dora. Thank you very much. Uh, Stephanie says, looking for recommendations on where to go for a great birthday dinner tonight. Oh, girlfriend, let us break this down. Tell me what part of town you're in and we might be able to help because um, there's so many places, so many places. So, Stephanie, I'll make a deal. Let us know where, where in town you'd like to go and hopefully we will find something with you or for you. Albert thinks Dora is hot. I'm blushing like a schoolgirl. Betsy loves Dora. Okay, I get it. We'll have more Dora. Uh, when is Luna doing the opening for the show? Girl, what do you think? She's thinking. She's thinking about it. Um, Karen submits a great recommendation for a birthday. Bravos. I have to agree with that one. Uh, so if we don't get a specific location within the city from Stephanie, I will go with Bravos as well. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I am at the end 
of your comments. And I will have you know, as long as we have a little bit of extra time, that I am sending out feelers. Oh, here we go. We're in the marina and are heading downtown, probably El Centro or. Okay, Centro or. I would still go with Bravos. I would still definitely go with Bravos. Um, that is a great recommendation. There you have it. Anyhow, I was getting ready to say it is the end of the annual term for our community partners. As you know, we have community partners that join us once a year. And we've had Best Court Cutting TV, Bistro Mercurio, Hotel Mercurio, Joint Boutique Hotel and Cowork, and the Patches and Martini Bar have generously provided their sponsorship and their support to Coffee and Headlines for a year. And now we are looking for new uh, a new community partners. So hopefully, if there's anybody out there that would like to become a community partner, just drop me a line. The income that we derive from community partners allow us to improve mostly our tech gear that we use here at Coffee and Headlines. So I'm going to leave it at that. Here's another great suggestion for a birthday tapas barcelona tapas that is a great recommendation as well and let's see karen says make sure to tell michael if you go to bravos that you watch coffee and headlines well that will not get you any fabulous prices that i'm aware of but it's always nice when you go out there and mention my name or coffee and headlines because that's a great way to promote the city um, oh, and there you go. Chris says, last night we had my husband's birthday dinner at Bravo's. Fabulous as always. So if Michael is watching, Michael, you should be proud of what you create. And, um, and there you have it. With that said, I think this is a good time to pause at least until we meet again. This afternoon, of course, as I mentioned uh, in the last couple of days, we are going to have a music appreciation get together at the Joint Boutique Hotel. We're going to talk about the history of sound and movies. It should be wonderful because it's going to be air conditioned. So if you don't have anything better to do, join us this afternoon at the Joint Boutique Hotel. If that is not in your agenda, that's okay. We will get together sometime soon, hopefully tomorrow morning. Uh, and this brings us to the end. So have a great day and I hope to see you again soon, maybe this afternoon or maybe tomorrow. Take care.